that's slightly overpowered, huh? I think so. I think we are slightly overpowered. Foot like a wild man. That's what the Aussies say. something that I've done very successfully my whole career is you plead complete no knowledge and you get other people. You see old Tom Sawyer got everybody to paint the fence for him, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's just too much wind, so it's, sail trimmer's really iffy in my mind because it's just blowing out. Who said I was the expert? <laughs> uh, what's the launch process? Like, what's the uh, to make sure everything's in balance? Something like that. Don't fall in. I like to launch over here in the quiet wind. And I need a tool. Be right back. What kind of advice when you're at the top of the day rig would you give this guy Ken Reed over here? Oh, Ken? Oh, none at all. <laughs> <laughs> nah, basic, basically in the, top, in, in the top of the rigs right here, you just want, you know, you just got to be very careful. The hard part is actually getting the boat to tack. Uh, tacking the boat in this type of with the chop and everything is very difficult so you got to really take your time and hopefully that little bit of an adjustment makes this also I'm looking at the twists in the sails and I need I need a little more rake tension on it because she has a little vibration to her so I'm going to have to bring it back in and uh, do a little bit of an adjustment on it. So mm -hmm. 
and it was just, I was going to come out so easily. It was so Okay. All right. I'm going to have to tighten the fourth stay a little bit on it here, but uh, I am kind of running out of room, so I'm going to kind of put a, like a little another knot in this, and hopefully it will do the trick. Maybe not. But right now it feels feels really nice now. And here's the trick now, can we tack the boat? That's the whole thing. <laughs> when you set it up inside, there's no breeze on it. So again, depending on the pressure, the more wind pressure you have, the more it's gonna change while you're sailing. So you don't always get it just right the first time. My name is Peter Feldman. I'm from Harrison Township, Michigan, and I'm representing the Soling One Meter class. Riker Collie from Charleston, South Carolina, representing the EC12 class.
Yeah, hi, I'm Gary Bull, uh, Point Richmond, California, representing the Sea Wind class. I'm Ron Stevens, I'm the at-large skipper, and I'm from Florida. I don't know what race that was. My first bullet though, I'm ha very happy about it. You said you've been getting better all afternoon long. What's different? Well, uh, new boat obviously, just just uh, built it last night. So uh, took a took a few races to uh, make it feel right. I've just been tweaking it uh, every race and uh, I, th I think it's it's definitely, definitely where it needs to be right now. It's, it's uh, my boat's fast. <laughs> I'm Barb Batzer, I'm from Lighthouse Point, representing the RC Laser class. Jess Atkinson. I represent the Odoms. I'm from California.
Hey, I'm Ed Baird from St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm here uh, representing my home, Club Ed. And uh, I'm probably the guy who knows the least about these boats. So I'm looking forward to learning a lot this weekend and having a lot of fun with these guys. Frederick from Richmond, California. I'm here representing the International One Meter class. Hi, Larry uh, from uh, Los Angeles, representing Soling 50s. Hi, I'm Tony Gonzalez, uh, representing Barbados here at the uh, Champion of Champions DF-95 Regatta in Dallas, Texas. Uh, beautiful day out here today and uh, really looking forward to having some fun. Good morning, I'm Mark Allison from Long Beach, California. <clears throat> I am representing the DF-95 class here at this Champion of Champions Regatta. Jack Ward representing the Micromagic fleet from Punta Gorda, Florida. I'm Steve Lando from Pooler, Georgia, uh, representing DF-65 Championship. So I'm pretending everybody else is doing this little leech fan thing, so I'm do that's why I'm doing it, just to, to kind of pretend like I know what I'm doing. I'm Ken Reed, I'm from representing Newport, Rhode Island, the great fleet of DF-95ers up there and uh, down here playing with all these champions and try to figure this out. Good fun. Guess what? It's like sailboat racing. You get good starts, you go fast, and you catch wind shifts, and, it, and the rest kind of comes pretty easy. And unlike the first two races, that race kind of put it together a little bit, so that was good fun. What was the big change between races on the sail? I uh, just had tiny little ease on the main sheet. The boat had weather helm pretty much the whole time so far today, and it just felt high and slow, so just put the bow down a tiny little bit. Seven! Millimeters, that's all it takes for these little things. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's give it a whirl. How bad can bad be? That's fine to see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Seven! Five protest seven, five Ten. protest seven. Ten? Yeah. about time <laughs> uh, I just won that one yes yeah, the first win for the uh, for this regatta I actually had a few seconds I think I had one second a couple of holes but this is the first bullet I've had uh, for the weekend it's long overdue <laughs> uh, basically clear air and staying out of trouble uh, you know it was very light out there and I got a fairly decent start I was able to get a bow out and uh, was able to tack and uh, tacked in a, in a really good uh, good pressure and, and just kind of got away from the group. And, you know, once that happened, uh, you know, it was a fairly easy sailing, except for the finish. Uh, wind just died right at the finish line and uh, almost put the boat in irons, but uh, recovered. So, see if we can do a few more of those. Yeah, I wasn't over early. <laughs> I got a, I got a good start that time. Uh, it was a little crowded. Um, things cleared up. There's a couple, of, one or two OCS boats, and that kind of cleared the way for me. And uh, got a little, little lefty to tack on, and just had a good lane. Stayed out of trouble. But uh, yeah, the, the, I guess the most important part was that I wasn't over early like the first two races today. <laughs> So I'm happy to get that one in. It was important.
is very lucky. It was a uh, a deal where the, uh, the wind shifted hard to the east, and so it was just a matter of being the first to get over the port and get to the mark. Yeah, that was, uh, I'm not sure if I'm proud of that one, but <laughs> I'll take it. Hey, a win is a win. <laughs> hey guys, fantastic regatta. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I think it was a good, I think it was a success. My award is having you guys here. <laughs> oh, God, it's deep. Oh, wow. All right, so.